Hey, there we go. Right, cool. So I'm just going to open this up for the first time. There is a readme that comes with this as well. Um, I will also drag over the little page where you can download it from trcustoms.org, which is the place to go to for these level sets. So it's a Tower Bridge experience here about the game. It's Winston's birthday tomorrow and Lara forgot to get him a present he wanted. Lara quickly jumps out of bed and rings the shop to find that they are unfortunately closed for the day. Not one to be deterred by opening hours, she packs her gear and sneaks out of Croft Manor. This level started as a training ground and experimental ground for myself to get back into level building and to push the new Tomb Raider engine to its limits. As part of Matrix 5-4's revival challenge, I decided to pay homage to the late Dharma's Tower Bridge levels created in 2001. Not familiar with that myself, but I'm sure a lot of you in the community might already be. As a test, I attempted to create Tower Bridge in, in Tomb Raider with its proper dimensions. A feat wouldn't be possible before, that wouldn't be possible before, um, the new 10 engine, which is the brand new um, iteration of the level editor engine. Uh, and it just grew from there. Thank you for reading. Hope you'll download and play and enjoy. Lovely stuff. So, yes, very much looking forward to this. Gecko, I know Gecko, I've met him a couple times through Derby. Very lovely kid. Uh, very lovely guy. Um... Very, very, very lovely. So I'm very much looking forward to his work. This is my first ever sort of like piece of his work that I've played. So this is going to be very interesting. Terry, um, so there are some known issues. The camera will um, is between portals. Might flash blank for a frame. Could even crash. Rending of the inventory is still a work in progress. Please do not attempt to use the corner bug in ten instead of teleporting to the room. She will fall. <laughs> she will fall indefinitely. Okay. It's a bit of a hint there. Swing poles might teleport Lara into the void if she grabs and swings at a slightly off angle. Okay, it's prone to happen to players on controllers. Try not to give directional inputs whilst mid-air uh, before grabbing poles to avoid this bug. Highly recommend you saving the game before jumping towards them. Right, cool. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okie dokie. Here we are. And I believe Dean, uh, as in like Dean Copri, wrote um, the theme for this level set, which is pretty cool. Right, what I will do is, so I can actually see you guys in the chat, let me just pop out the chat window for a second. Oh no, it's minimized stuff. Oh no, it's minimized. Oh, I can hear myself in the browser, no way. Nobody wants to hear that. No one wants to hear me once, let alone twice. Here we go. All right, minimize, minimize. The chat window. Right, I've got my DualShock 5. Let's just turn this down ever so slightly. In my ears. Using the wrong slider for that one. Uh, will Winston wear Lara's bra as a hat in celebration? I don't know. All these questions and more will hopefully not be answered. <laughs> Let's have a look at the options. So what have we got? We've got display settings, sounds and game playing, controls. I think this is my... Oh, hang on. Uh... Alt and F9. Okay, let's start recording. Get some footage at the same time for a Trellivision episode. I think this is my first ever exposure to the, um, the 10 engine, you know. I don't think I've actually played a creation yet in 10. Um, I know that we played, um, um, Kitten Adventure by Delka. Um... I don't think that was in 10, was it? I think that was in just, like, the next-gen engine, which is the one before this. It is a bit melancholic for a birthday present quest. All shadows. So I'm going to go with low anti-aliasing, because why not? Uh, sounds and gameplay, reverb enabled, automatic targeting, yes. Rumble, yes, we want rumble. Thumbstick camera. Ooh, okay. Let's see what this does. Oh, everyone. Oh, bless. Yeah, Sarah is. Yeah, she's been like that, like, this last. Since last Friday. Okay, here we go. Lovely artwork. I'm struggling to remember who that is. I think that might have been um, Claire. 
something or other. I can't remember the last name. <sighs> Shit. It's Winston's birthday tomorrow, and I've forgot to get him the snow globe he wanted. I hope the shop is still open. <laughs> Good evening, the Tower Bridge Experience. How can I help? Good evening. I'm looking to purchase one of your snow globes from your gift shop. A snow I globe? still have one of those in stock. Well, yes, but unfortunately we closed. Would you like to come tomorrow instead? I'm a dangerous girl, and right now I'm losing patience. Um, okay, we're sorry, but we don't. Of course you do. Just name a price. Well, they're only five ninety nine, but... You know, I don't care how much it costs. Give it to me now. Miss, that's not what... Do you know who you're dealing with? No, but miss, you can't just... Good. Then you won't see me coming. What the actual f... <laughs> I don't know who that was, but that sounded... I'm a horrible conversationalist. Now, let's streamline their inventory. Yeah, that thumbstick camera's a bit bro bit broken for me, at least. I am using Joy to Key for this. Maybe that's um, what's coming back to bite me in the bum a bit. Yeah, it's a bit intense for a snow globe hunt, but oh, I, can't, I quite I like that vibe. Back my tranquilizer darts. Oh, well. I didn't hear what she said then. Something about tranquilizer darts. Oh, that's quite cool. It's an actual Polaroid camera. Med packs, large med kit, load game, save game, pistols. Boo! No use of the radial menu. Boo! <laughs> We're a radial menu. Ha um. All oh, right, there we go. There's the subtitles. She forgot her tranquilizer darts. We're a radial menu house here. <laughs> ah, Sabatu. Good. Good evening to you. Madame Boulder is in the house. Uh, is this on TR5? Oh, Shiza. Oh, hang on. No. Lovely. There we go. <laughs> nothing nothing says um nothing quite hits the point home of um every love matters and equality. Like randomly gunning down people just doing their job in a London subway. <laughs> Mixed messaging gecko kid. Hello there, CMMM official. I do like the tube train. It actually looks like the, a modern London tube train. As opposed to what the trains look like in Tomb Raider 3. All aboard the Murder Express. Every love matters, and Lara loves gunning down people for a snow globe. Oh, rats! God dear, this is, is this is this Tomb Raider or a serious sound game? I feel like I'm just getting this is like a horde shooter. I'm getting absolutely bombarded left, right, and centre, and I've just walked into a room. Oh hello. Oh, they're climbing on top of the trains. They can do that, apparently. That was a bit jank, unintended or not. HK ammo, nice. Okay. I love the smooth refill animation of the health bar. It's a small little thing, but um, I like it. Wait. <laughs> that came out wrong. Hello, Croft Rider. You can ride the train. Yes, welcome to London, where you can ride trains. <laughs> How you doing there, Croft Rider? Hope you're doing okay. Love the private art, pride, uh, art on, the <laughs> on the subway. Very food. <laughs> I mean good. I mean good, not food. I'm not hungry. You're hungry. Excellent. She's very vocal in this. I like it. This is, um, is it Jen that he's gotten to voice this or is it Agent XP? Hello, Laurie. How's the spoon man? How's the spoon child? Is he all right? <laughs> 
he's, he's <laughs> spoon child who's taken a sudden interest in heavy metal. Bless him. It's Jen. Hey, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Saving game. Just joined. Did I miss anything? No, just murdering down innocent guards trying to do their job and uh, all in the name of getting a snow globe for Winston. Didn't know Agent XP voiced it. Yeah, she's a, she's done voices for mods before for um, level sets, hasn't she? I'm pretty sure she has. Someone said that she did somewhere. Hello, second bout. Hello, Calypsus Games. Ah, Calypsus, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All the names are here. Happy to have you. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to have to run down that tube tunnel. Cool idea, but probably too ambitious. Casting both Jen and Agent for one Lara and one doppelganger. Yes, that would be a great idea. Make it happen, somebody. Okay, well, I can already tell this is going to go horribly wrong. But let's do it. Let's see how far this tunnel goes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> and just for good measure, the, the train just keeps on going. This is why we save children. And save children. <laughs> 599 for a snow globe that she could have got on Amazon, but nope, she has to she has to go to the shop and get it because um I mean what, is is Lara Croft the original Karen? I want to speak to your she goes into a tomb in Peru and asks the Incas, I want to speak to the manager. <laughs> I want this shiny thing. I want to speak to the manager. I need it, please. Uh, you've been better. Oh, no. Life's a bit sometimes, but I hope you're all good. Japan video's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, um, life's been a bit of a bitch for you. Hopefully at some point you will have some better luck with whatever it is that's going on. Oh, no, why? That was a, that was a mistake. He's fine. Crying because he doesn't want to watch. He doesn't want to watch you. He wants to watch volcano videos. Well, give the child what he wants. He's had a very, very traumatizing day running headphones headfirst into metal spoons. Hello, Sonata. I think Seth uh, McKenzie voiced the cashier. Nice. I did offer to voice some, uh, like, um, Winston snoring in this. Um, but he didn't have chance to use it in the end, which which was a disappointment. Which, much disappoint, but it's fine. One day I will get my starring role in a trelly as either Alistair or Winston. One day. Lara isn't a, isn't a Karen because she actually does stuff herself. Very true. Very true. Lara Croft is the manager. I mean, this could all be for naught, but I'm going to run up here anyway, just in case there are secrets. I mean, there's a rat there. Uh-oh. There is. Hello, old witch textures. We need Steve as Alistair. <laughs> Make it happen. I'm happy to lend my, uh, my voice to any character that you wish. <laughs> Obviously, I can't do- I'm not going to attempt any kind of voices at the moment. If I feel I'm not up to it, I might wreck my voice even further. Oh, Shiza! Okay, fair enough. Sandy Excellent. Balls Excellent. Old which frightens me so much. It was hell during my playthrough of Tear Th 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 It is quite kind of a scary horror esque map. It's all dark. There are th like trains that jump out of you from nowhere. Like, rabid dogs. There's people with gas masks and wrenches. It is quite scary. 
Steve playing Alistair in the hospital after getting shot. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I've got to get Alistair some flowers. He's recovering in St. Almond's, Great Ormond Street Hospital. I hope he makes a swift recovery. The golden droid I hired to replace him isn't doing as good of a job as he is. Although he does speak over 300 languages. That's quite helpful. This is so dark. It's the only downside. Need to turn the gamma up or something, I think. Da -da -da -da. I genuinely can't see where I'm going. I might actually have to turn the brightness up on this thing so I can see properly. Oh, um, when did I pick up the shotgun? Okay. I genuinely don't know when I did that. <laughs> but okay. Alistair 3PO. Human-cyborg relations are what, I go are what I Google frequently. I feel bloody awful. Smoke from the flare, 10 out of 10. Oh yes, because that wasn't originally in the native engine. That was water in here. Okay. Two seconds. I am actually just going to... Uh... Oh no, I've pressed a button to mess things up. No! Really need a fucking Starbucks, Jonah. And a good evening to you too, Neen. How you doing? It's alright. Two seconds. Uh, screen. No. There we go. I'm just um, upping the brightness on my screen a bit so I can actually see what I'm doing and don't have to use all of my flares in one room. There we go. That's better. That's better. All good here. How's the thing? Um, blah, blah. All good here. How's the stream? Not too bad. So far, so good. We're doing all right. How are you in the other half? Is uh, Mr. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch keeping all right? Classic. Oh, Gunsy boy. Hello there. Good evening, good sir. Jurassic Jam, welcome. It's a little bit on the dark side. Can you all, like, watching, see what's going on okay? Or do I need to up the brightness on the feed? Ah, so that swapped it over. Okay. How are you dealing with the cost of um, living crisis in the UK? We're okay. We've noticed stuff that has gone up. Um... Definitely the energy bills are the ones that are big for us. So, but we're doing as best as we can, really. How about yourself? I take it you live in the in the uke as well. I don't quite know what I'm doing in here. <laughs> I'm making water move from one side of the pond to the other. That has moved though, so maybe... Just maybe there's something in here that I can that I can find. It almost seems like those boxes had something hidden underneath them. Either that, or these boxes were supposed to float up and then give me a platform to jump to somewhere else. It's better now that I pressed buttons. Excellent. Happy to help. <laughs> Lara is Moses confirmed. Can see just fine. 
fabulous. Macho broccoli. Indeed, indeed. We're good, he's here. Hello! Hello! <laughs> it's Baldy Locks in the Three Hairs. <laughs> How you doing, mate? You're right. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm really good dealing with it. Uh, I've got food to last about 10 years. So I'm a prepper. Not I'm going on holiday in the summer. Really. Fair enough. A prepper, eh? Prepper for the apocalypse? Oh, snap. It's the man. Let us shoot him. Is he dead? No. Nope. Oh no, we shot the big strong man. Ah, there he is, the number one uh, Spotify artist himself, Mr. James Croft. How the devil are you, my good sir and or madam? We actually had to listen to your track, James. We actually thought it was all right. Congratulations on getting something on Spotify. That's really cool. Oh, Shizer. <laughs> Tardis boy, welcome. <laughs> no worries, James. No worries. People are complaining about the cost of eggs in the U US too. I work retail on weekends. I hear it all the time. Oof. F in the chat there for work in retail. I've done my... I did my time in retail. Never again. <laughs> You just, um, save. I didn't do anything. I basically just want to, I need to put the water back in this part here now. I've got to get back up there now. Hmm, how am I supposed to do that? Retail PTSD. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a real thing. And it sucks. Bob is no longer crying. He's playing hide and seek with Alexa. Washing his hair was fun. Oh, I can imagine, especially when he got shampoo in his wound. That would have that would have stung like a mother bitch. <laughs> Can't seem to leave retail no matter what I do to help. Uh, try, yeah. It will happen one day, Calypsis. Don't you worry about it. Might seem a bit hopeless now, but one day, one day, you will be free of retail. The shackles of retail will fall. They will fall, I say. And then you'll be free. <laughs> Thank you for the clip there, Mikasa. There seems to be a bit of an issue with the bots that I use to auto-post that into my Discord. So if anyone fancies it, if you do post a clip, be sure to share it in Discord too if you have the time. That'd be amazing help. Pack a lem sip, cold medicine, 10 capsules going for £9.95. Bloody hell. I'm so sorry, Mr. Big Strong Man. Ooh, hang on. Splendid. Ah, he had a desert eagle. Okay, now we're... Now we're above ground in London. I've not found one secret yet. I feel like I should have found one by now. What are the statistics? Tell me, Polaroid camera. Uh, ten. Gotcha. Okay. Look forward to when I can move into the clinical side of things and off the shop floor. Yes, one day. As much as I like to moan about my job sometimes, I do I very much prefer working in tech support than I do face-to-face -face retail. That sucked. That definitely sucked. Hey, you got an interview, Scotty. Nice. Can we ask what that's for? Oh, he, it looks even like the the little bollards you get in London, too. That's really cool. Don't worry, Stephen Clan, you're here exactly when you needed to be. Try working at Home Bargains. Ooh, the, 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 the Harrods of discount stores. <laughs> I do not envy you, my friend. Oh, hello. Just doing the Lara Croft hopscotch. 
I love the fact that this guy was just crouched like a ninja to get around the corner to try and shoot her. It's like, oh yeah, she'll never suspect this. She'll never suspect me crouch walking in open street <laughs> with no one else around being not subtle at all. She won't expect that. She'll never see it coming. Which channel, Steve? Stream shed? Yeah, chuck it in the shed. Well, well, well. There she blows. That be the Bridge of London. The Bridge of Londinium. And what's the betting I have to use that to exit the level? In glorious fashion. It's spooky. Is it? I mean, that's pretty... Pretty marvellous looking, isn't it? The texture work especially is great. And the scale of it too is really good. I can see people. I can see why people were singing this um, level set's pl praises. It's honestly just, it's incredible what you can do now with this game's engine. I, I, albeit heavily modified, I understand. Oh shit! But um, what they can do now, what's achievable, is just crazy. Can I search the bin? Is there a secret in the bin? The city of London bin? No, there isn't. It was just a const- Oh, there's a car there. Okay. It was just a construction worker wanting to- Just going about his day. Wanting to casually be a woman in the street <laughs> with his wrench. And then Lara just guns him down. Tragic. It's, uh, oh, hello. What the heck is shooting at me from up here? Okay. You all saw that too, right? You all saw me get shot by something, right? Where is that coming from? Let me just, uh, drop down here. One day, I will give level building a go myself, and I will make the most cursed level sets you have ever seen. <laughs> ah, there you are. Okay. Ah, there you are. Bloody hell. How many shots? Do you know what? I'm actually going to switch to a different weapon. I'm going to get the shotgun out. There we go. Old painless. Excellent. Excellent. Lovely. Hello, Krill. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Krill. Crit. Concrete. Level building stream? Nah, level playing stream. I do not build. I do not build. Not yet. Whoa, what the? That was weird. There's probably not even a secret up here. It's just you can you can you can walk up here and gaze upon the the um the slightly compressed blurry JPEG of London <laughs> at night time. Love to see a Derby one. I don't think it'd be as as visually interesting as this, but, um, yeah, that'd be quite a cool idea, I guess. Classic Team Raider disappearing object from certain angles. Yes. Classic. Classic Team Raider. Classic, classic. I can't get over the gimp masks. I'm sorry. I should be able to. <laughs> that sound clip, man. Fashion Police Squad was a good stream. It's a good game. What is that? Is this a statue in London? If it is, I've never seen it. <laughs> what thing. the? Is that Lara, like, riding a dolphin or, or tackling it with a wrestling move or something? What is that? <laughs> Hello, 999. Yes, there's a lady with a shotgun on the street. Send help. Or snow globes. <laughs> Can I... Go through the bins like a tramp. Find a bottle of white lightning. White lightning. 
Ah, yes, the pauper suplex statue, yeah. <laughs> it's like she's gonna go on a, like a choke slam or something. She's gonna RKO Echo the Dolphin. This is can of, can of Stella on, in the bin. Special brew, mate. It's gotta be the good stuff. Always. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Oh, there was, a po there was a post in the way. That's why I thought... It's a weird place to put an invisible wall. It was an invisible wall. It was an actual post. Oh, we can go swimming in the Thames. I, I, I can foresee this potentially ending quite badly for us. So uh, let's just quickly save, shall we? There we go. I'm coming, David Walliams. Okay, cool. What could possibly go wrong? Literally everything. <laughs> yeah, a pneumonia is the least of your concerns if you went swimming in the Thames, let's, let's face it. Oh my goodness, it's a raid. Hello, welcome. Make a seat. Make a seat. And then take a seat. And then make yourself comfortable, is what I meant to say. Hello, hello. Ten win. Maybe not that. <laughs> Still no sign of David Williams, thank God. Hello, dog of Douglas McDog Dog. How you doing? How was your stream? What were you streaming? I mean, I think I'm gonna find something around here. I might not. Are you streaming this? Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Is there, is there nothing... Nothing here? Okay. You mean to tell me there is no secrets down there after I spent all this time... Swimming and searching for it. It's ten secrets overall in this level set. Oh, you just finished Resident Evil 4. Ah, I misread what you meant by this custom. Looking forward to the remake? Did you play the demo? Ah, ah, There's no Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster in the Thames. That's very true. Very sad, but just very true. Very true. No, Nessie. Is the remake any good? I mean, what we played of the demo of it, yeah, it seemed awesome. Really looking forward to it. Going to be playing it on stream. Um, we're actually going to be doing a double bill of Resident Evil next week instead, because we're doing a double bill of Tomb Raider this week. It's <laughs> it's Lara's version of the Friday Thirteenth noise. Hoo, hoo, ha, ha. <laughs> it's spooky. It is awesome and amazing. Gecko Kid has done some very good work with this. And here's me trying to search every nook and cranny and crook and nanny in order to find secrets. So far, nothing. I clearly suck at finding secrets. Whoa, what the- Ah, no! Fucking... Yes, the, uh... <laughs> are those supposed to be crows? Or ravens? Blackbirds? It's like the wingspan of a grey eagle. <laughs> Maybe the secrets of the friends we make along the way. Boo, get out. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> he did the joke.
if RE4 is a direct remake just with the same secrets of the original, I might not bother. Uh, no, it definitely does stuff. It's definitely going to be doing stuff that's new as well as tr treading familiar ground. That's for sure. What is this? Oh, I found a secret. What is that? It's a Polaroid photo. Wait a minute. Is that Uncharted Raider and Laurie? It is! And Hedy. Oh, that's cute. And there's Gecko Kid, who's in the bottom right of that picture. That's cute. So are all the secrets going to be photos that he's had with other members of the community? That's going to be quite a cool idea. No, that's actually outside of London Bridge, but that was after, or I think it was either before or after Derby. Might be, it might have been after. Because some of us went to London. After Derby. Derby after dark. God, how hench are these freaking birds? Die already, please. It's gonna turn into Birdemic, the game. Good God, just per perish! Stop trying to steal me chips, you prick. <laughs> Kodak the Wool Fox. Welcome. It is, isn't it? Though I would have liked a gun. <laughs> like a rocket launcher would have been better. Oh, it's a nice touching moment with my friends. Now nah, I just want a guns. <laughs> Hitchcock's the bites. The birds, the birds. Oh god, more birds. Oh god. Has Lara got like a chip butty in her back pocket or something? Never more. Okay. I think it's safe to say that there's not going to be anything else here, unless there's something on the roof of this little building here, perhaps? Let's see what we can find. Lara has a chip butt. No! She has a chip butty. If you don't know what a chip butty is, you're not British. Chip butty is a chip sandwich. And for Americans, it's a french fry sandwich! <laughs> Alexa, play Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. Did that set any anyone's off? No? If not, I'm disappointed. British. I'm sorry for making you hungry, Sazula. I'm sorry. I mean, it doesn't look like there's something up there, but I'm going to explore anyway, because why not? We're all British here, aren't we, James? All proper British. Proper, proper British. That to... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Enhance. Ah. Oh, I thought that... Yeah, I thought we might have disguised a little, uh... A lever in that, uh... That little, uh window there. But no. But no. Although you do a horrible job of my accent. Mate, at the moment I'm doing a horrible job of any accent. Okay. Ow. I mean, if this doesn't have anything in here, I probably will just reload. Well, this was worth it. <laughs> Steve, you activated my Alexa. You told her to play Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. Yes! Yes! Oh, fantastic. Did it do it? Feed the birds to put a bag. Right. Let's go down Tower Bridge, mate. Tower fucking bridge, mate. Down in fucking London. 
London tan. It is indeed just a roof. Sad face. Is there anything on that there little ledge down there? It almost looks like it should have something. But it does not. Sneaky. Sneaky. Oh, hydrate. Thank you very much there, Suzula. Um, Suniv. And Suzula, thank you for the stretch. Don't mind me, just drinking from my trademark <laughs> Macho Broccoli water bottle. Available now. From... One good retailer. Oh, thank you very much there for the follow. Um, Code of the Wolf. Bears! Posture check. Oh my goodness, so many. I am sitting correctly for my posture. What's on the floor? What is this? It is just a drain cover. Nothing interesting. Oh, a bus! Can we get on the bus? No? Ooh. Rubbish. Ooh, what's on the... Tower Bridge 2. The last renovation. Womp womp. 500 bits there from Uncharted. Thank you so much, buddy. Is this a... Oh, I can't wait to see two Menjin in, <laughs> in theatres. Thomas the two Menjin. One day, Thomas got a dead body. And it was from a very long time ago. And then he decided to put it in stone casket. The end. It's a mini adventure. The little tomb engine that could. Could go straight to hell! Ha <laughs> Right. I don't know why I'm maniacally laughing. That guy didn't deserve any of what I just did to him. Not at all. It was just there, just like making sure that people don't perilously and dangerously ramp off the side of the bridge, which I'm totally going to do later. I don't understand. It, <laughs> what I don't understand is why are the lampposts in such high quality? Because why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they be? How dare you? How dare you question the logic of the high quality lampposts in this game? I mean, just look at them. If I was making a level set and I thought, hmm, it's not complete. Do you know what's missing? Some really fucking high quality lampposts. Yes. Get on it. Create it. Do it. I'd do that. For real. Anyone seen Spice World the movie where they jumped the bridge on the bus? Yes, Spice World the movie. Um, Spice World the movie where you can see them playing Tomb Raider in the in the bus. Um, but also Spice World the movie that hasn't really aged well in in the ways that you probably weren't expecting. Because I've only seen it once, and when I when me and Sarah watched it, we were like, "Oh God, I can't believe they did! I can't believe they sung one of that guy's songs." I was like, oh god, I forgot he was a TV figure. He was a bit of a wrong, wasn't he? And they do a musical number with him. <laughs> For those of you who, wa who already know the context to that, I'm very sorry. For those of you who don't know the context, it's going to be very uh, some very interesting and confusing Googling going on a little bit later, I feel. <laughs> no, not that one. As far as I remember, Jimmy Savile didn't have songs. The scene got cut out in the end. Which one? Hey. Because the version on the DVD we had had a so had two two scenes where they sung a Gary Glitter song, and one scene with Michael Barrymore, <laughs> which for anyone outside of the UK isn't going to mean a whole lot, I don't think. Especially Michael Barrymore, they're going to be like, "Who the heck is that guy?" But yes, 
it's kind of like, oh, oh dear. Whoops. <laughs> right, so. There's a keyhole. I have no key. Did this guard have the key? I mean, if he did have the key, I can't see it on the floor or anything. Uh, no. Oh, wait. He was with them? Oh, really? I didn't know that. No, we definitely didn't see that in the in the DVD we saw of it. Try lifting the drain. I'll try spinning. That's a neat trick. What is that? Is that a dinghy down there? I wonder if we can go down there and use the boat. That'd be quite a neat little feature. Although, when you were younger, you thought the leader of the gang was their song. I mean, it might as well be their song now. <laughs> no, I don't think you can move this. I think this is just literally a gate to stare into the abyss of nothingness. Yeah, I'm pressing the action key and nothing's happening. It's fine. There's a car up the road. You say up the road. It's quite a walk. We will go back and we will drive it. Dude of the alien scene and Meatloaf is their driver. I've forgotten about that. He's dead now, isn't he, Meatloaf? When did he die? Not last year. Year before, I think? Possibly? <laughs> um, I'm not going to detail the context behind it in this chat there, Lino, Lino Cy Cyborg, but um, suffice to say, if you want to look it up yourself, feel free. This isn't the place for it. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Nifflehem. How you doing there, buddy? Oh, wait, there's some Desert Eagle ammo. <laughs> Excuse me whilst I just moved this car. <laughs> oh, God, this guy just under the wheels of my car casually. Well, it's not my car. I just stole it, really. I repurposed Lovely. this car, this other person's car. Um, someone in the chat can do it. Um, been better, but hanging in here, hanging in there, no worries. I, I hope you're not doing too badly, my friend. Whee! Poodle, poodle, poodle. Right, so before we do anything drastic, I'm just going to... Just going to save. Oh yeah, Alan Cumming was in it as well. <gasps> Uh-oh. And Lara Croft was never seen again. <laughs> to see David Walliams swilling, <laughs> swimming past with, like, butter on him or something. I'm swimming the channel! Yes, you are, David. Yes, you are. That was a well-timed scream. Oh, oh, good, good lord. I really need a fucking Starbucks, Jonah. Hello there, Anastasia Pants. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, that was kind of shit. Something tells me I've got to give this car a bit of a boost, haven't I? Nailed the redemption there. Just testing your own 10 level prototype. Nice. Any, uh, you're, you, you're able to talk about what it involves at all? Give us a little tease. <laughs> there she goes in the little Jeep. Right, so, hmm. Clearly, I've missed a key somewhere, right? Where would this key be? Yes, it's soon that time of year again. Eggmus. You can quote the entire movie from start to finish. Oh, you. Oh, you. Uh, 
There we go. Eggmas sounds like Eggman's birthday. <laughs> the Jeep that couldn't slow down. Does a bit. Merry Eggmas. I was a very lonely child, Steve. The Spice Girl were my best friends, okay? No one's judging. You're the one that's getting all defensive. <laughs> You're, the one that's... You're not a Spice Girls fan. I'm not a Spice Girls fan. You're a Spice Girls fan. <laughs> not me. Uh, uh, no, uh. Spice Girls uh, uh, have cooties. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Oh, okay. Let's let's climb into the dark, murky depths of the uh, of the Thames, shall we? Um, or not? Oh, it's the, uh, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, noise again. What is going on? Oh, hang on, why is my... Ooh, ooh, ah. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, two seconds, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Right, sorry, everybody. I am back. Under the bridge, now. Let's use, use the old bi bino calluas to see where we're going. Thanks, Keanu. Oh, it does look like oh, we've got a couple of Venice boats and we've got ourselves an Arctic dinghy. Cool, cool. Maybe we can go over there and use it to get across or something. What do we reckon? Hello, Stephen Clan. Uh, what would realistically happen if someone swam in the Thames? Um, you would probably get whacked in the head by David Walliams. Famed comedian David Walliams. Is that a thing? Has that been a thing before where Laura can climb up ladders whilst in water? Whilst submerged? That's pretty cool, if not. New animations. They excite me. What can I say? Hello, Breslin. Welcome. It's my guilty pleasure as a fan of the Spice Girls. Oh, wait. I just let that out. Oh, no. You've been outed. Ha <laughs> ha. We know your secrets. It's fine. Nobody minds. It's okay. God, I shouldn't have pressed that button on my freaking screen. It's messed everything up. There we go. Who's David Williams? Wait. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking. Right, so, hmm, okay. Do you reckon I need to go back into the underground to find these keys? Because I don't actually have any keys to get up into this tower bridge. So I don't quite know what I need to do. Wildface says yes. Let's go back into the underground. Sunny boy. Let me, let me just do an Austin Powers moment here. Don't mind me. Uh, David Walliams is um, two halves of, of a comedy duo in the UK that did the show Little Britain, and also he did a charity swim through the Thames to swim the to swim. He's also a children's author as well, children's book author. He doesn't write children. <laughs> that came out wrong. He writes for children. No, it definitely would not get made today. <laughs> no, sorry, Bob. <laughs> Hello, Sazoni. I know. What sorcery is this? Tomb Raider on a Tuesday. 
It's so we can have a double bill of Resident Evil 4 remake next week. Right, let's go back into the underground. Going underground. I think we missed some key items in the underground. Ooh, ooh, ah. No, I, I, I didn't watch Come Fly With Me, but I heard that that was worse. <laughs> Just Kemic, please. You'll get used to it eventually. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. It was really bad, was it? Oh, dear. was close you have no idea what those are I'm not British that's completely fair I need a way out of this thing <laughs> Ah, yes, we've made it to the gay platform. Fantastic. <laughs> Those were her toes, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it was either the toes or the rest of her. It was the... <laughs> and I chose the rest of her. <laughs> Sandy balls for simple pleasures. Ooh. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, oh, lovely, yes. Machine gun ammo. Lovely. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello? Yes, I'd like some assistance, please. Yeah, can you help me get past this freaking level? Oh, hello. Hello there, Norsk chick. Sup. <laughs> How's it going? You right? Is this how real London looks? Basically, yes. Um, Gecko's done a really good job of recreating stuff quite accurately, especially Tower Bridge. Steven! I thought you were dead! <laughs> Gay platform. In other words, a platform of happy people. Shiny, happy people holding hands. Yes. <laughs> right. I have come to the conclusion that there is nothing for me here. Right, okay. <laughs> when you finish up the stream, just look it up on YouTube. Will do. Oh, hang on. Oh! Secret. Splendid. <laughs> Splendid, fantastic, noise. That was just a med kit, wasn't it? Boo! <laughs> uh, sure we didn't miss the conspicuously placed coin somewhere, or one that would work in a very specific ticket booth? <laughs> it's fine, mate. I brought my own coin. With blackjack and hookers. <laughs> in fact, forget about the coin. There's still a med pack and flares there. Wait, what? I thought I picked up everything. I picked up the med cat, the med pack. Med cat? <laughs> yes, the medicinal cat. No, I missed the flares. In the darkness. You might miss the answer, but I'm currently just uh, learning and relearning older tricks and trolleys capabilities in 10, so currently just trying to make anything work the way I want it. I did miss that answer, but thank you for reposting, man. Sorry if I do miss any ones like highlighted messages or replies. Nothing personal, it's just I suck. <laughs> I suck at keeping up with stuff. What's the next word? Fabulous, marvelous, awesome. Thanks, CJ. I wouldn't have known if I'd picked up the flare without you verbally telling me I picked up the flare. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Norsk, are you okay? Do we need to get someone? Do we need- do you need help? Is this you trying to signal us? I suck! Help me! Please help me! These children that I'm teaching... They're driving me nuts! Insane, I'd say. Insane. Right, I'm gonna go back here, and if there's no key... I am going to be Lassad. Unless one of these birds had a key. Wouldn't that be funny? Some employee at Tower Bridge was just having their regular lunchtime alfresca dinner. Food. And then all of a sudden a gigantic eagle-sized bird just comes down and eats his key. Welcome back. So I left that context. You picked up a dead flare, then came back for the actual flare pickup. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, well, this was where the secret was. One of the secrets. But where's this damn key? I want to get into Tower Bridge. I want to explore some stuff. I'm, I feel like I'm running around in circles like a crazy person. Is it in the bin? Can I search the bin? Nope. Norsk is a teacher of many students. She's teaching them in the ways of shitposting. Uh, nothing here, nothing in here. High school. Keys in the bin. What is this, Doctor Who? I don't know, is it? Is that a thing that regularly happens in Doctor Who? That there are keys in bins? It's not too late to can reconsider Amazon Prime Lara. What's Amazon Prime? That's the second thing I've seen today about Amazon Prime Lara. What's that all about? Is that just because Amazon Games are publishing the next one? Or has something come out today that people are just like, Ah, oh, Amazon Prime Lara. That doesn't... That's not a movable bit of wall. Hey, TARDIS. Steve, climb under the bridge. Steve. Use the force, Steve. Climb under the bridge. Okay. It will sound weird, but the general ambience and skybox reminds you of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Deus Ex was a good series. I'm annoyed that it's on hiatus for god knows when. He eats the bridge. <laughs> what does that even mean? Where would I start? Just get a knife and fork and just eat a square inch every day. Okay, let's try a different part of the bridge. Under the raised bridge. Ah, but I was there earlier, so let's go back. So that looks breathtaking compared to the claustrophobic counterpart in 3. Yeah, for sure. You could easily slip this in instead of... Um, instead of the existing London exterior levels. It'll fit much better. Hello, Mad Rats. Welcome. Londoning in progress, I say. Yes. Trying to London. Kind of failing to London. Shit moly. Oh, okay. Well, this looks like fun. Let's save. 
Have I been stabbed already? Nah, not yet. Still could happen. It is London after all. Ooh, key! Yay! Progress! Thank you, uh, whoever that was. Wild snake. I don't want to kill you, ratties, but you, you leave me no choice, honestly. Oh, fuck. I used to keep pet rats as well. They're sweet little things. Misunderstood creatures. Oh, shiza. Nacho broccoli. Hey, pause break. Welcome. Actually ended up with a family of pet rats once. <laughs> Loved them so much. Oh, bless. Oh, for the love of biscuits. No, just no. Let's try that again, shall we? Ow. No, I didn't want- I pressed jump and forward first, and then back to do the flip midair. It read my input as pressing down and jump first. Oh, stupid. Oh, Rats are no dirtier than the homes they live in. Exactly. Everyone thinks that they're vermin. They're not. They're only vermin because they live in squalor and like cities and stuff. Fancy rats are adorable and quite cleanly creatures. Fancy rats. There's clues in the name. They're fancy. Hey, Angel Ash. Welcome, welcome. How are we today? <laughs> well, I made it. <laughs> it wasn't a clean getaway, but I'm, I'm taking it. Rats in Paris now. Observe. We. Oui. <laughs> we are the rats. Monsieur, would you like to take it out of filth? <laughs> Can I not? Oh, that was a new move. Oh, oh, okay. That makes far more sense to do it that way. Okay. Fandabedose, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. My throat feeling, feeling a bit uh, hoarse. Other than that, I'm all right. The only reason I wouldn't want a pet rat or mouse is the average life expectancy. Yeah, they, yeah, I get it. I get it. I hate losing pets too. <sighs> Staying in the student halls and they jumped out of the bin, so we get a jump scare throwing my bags into them when they all jumped out. Ooh. Horse in Steve's throat. Oh my god. <gasps> Drama. Yes, you heard it here first, folks. Hello, Rap Wins. How you doing there, buddy? You and Mr. Robbie Bobby Boy are going on an adventure, so I hear. To the old Vegas. Right, what pray tell is gonna be in this in this place? Uh, yes, this is a 10 creation, Mad Rat. Your eyes do not deceive you. Having never been in actual Tower Bridge, I have no idea whether or not this is accurate or not. But uh, I think we're just going to take um, Gecko Kid's word for it here.
Murder. We are indeed. Uh, when are you coming down to visit me? <laughs> I don't know. I'd love to, but uh, I don't know when we're going on our next big holiday. And it's probably going to be back to Japan. <laughs> Let's face it. We, this is all. It's all we ever go to. <laughs> it seems. We have been to America quite a few times. Well, I've been to America a few times. Me and the missus have only been to America once. Fancy shadows, diagonal edges. I know, right? Welcome to the future of Tomb Raider. Classic Tomb Raider. I don't know quite why I said it like Bond, James Bond there, but it works. <laughs> it works. Hey, Mika's timing strikes again. Coming with you and your suitcase when you next go to Japan. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, totally, fam. Totally. Ooh, this looks fun. Okay. Okay. Well, first I'm going to explore that little window I was trying to jump to earlier. Then we will go up the tower. The name's Tomb Raider. Classic Tomb Raider. <laughs> crush. Bomb crush. Oh, it's Lindsay. How are you? Thank you very much for the 21 month subscribe. How you doing, Lindsay? You doing good? Hopefully. This looks like a safe area. You're a safe area. Steven! I thought you were dead! <laughs> Diagonals are still a little bit weird in this um, engine. Oh, what's this? Oh, lovely. Wait, is that me? It's me! Yes! I'm the problem, it's me! <laughs> I'm a secret! <laughs> Look at that. Two beautiful people. Beautiful. We even spin it around and everything. Can we zoom in and out? Yes, we can zoom in. Look at that. Beautiful. That was at Derby. <laughs> that was a derby. God, my hair is terrible in that shot. But yeah. And that was a necklace actually made by... Um, I want to get the name of the person because you did the artwork that we see in the loading screens as well. Let me just do that. Hang on. What do you mean biometrics won't work? I'm... You're my machine, machine. Two seconds. Uh, Claire... Uh, a dark Dear whimsy Lord. on Twitter. Oh, she is the user that did the artwork. Um, she is the user that also did the... Oh, no, was that Jen Millward that gave me the necklace? I think it might have been Jen. Yeah, I think it was Jen Millward that made the ski on necklace, which is in the uh, chest down here with all my other Tomb Raider memorabilia. I'm a secret. Yay. <laughs> I've achieved something in life. I'm a secret in a game, everybody. <laughs> Yes, that was Mac Dude's, um, Max Dude's voice. And that was an actual shout-out he did. Which I captured from a stream I was watching. Turned into a soundbite, because it makes it sound like he's going... He saw my name and goes, Oh, God! <laughs> Civil War. Oh, no! So, hi Steve, how are you? Glad, glad we're finally playing this. Yes, I am too. I am too. Yeah, no more, mo no more power wash sim for a while. <laughs> We've done the Tomb Raider power wash stuff. Oh shit, what the? Excuse me, sorry, just whilst I take care of this unruly gentleman. What a knob. <laughs> right, where, where was I? About to save this game, yes. Uh, where is my chest from the first retrospectives? Um, it's literally just... Hang on. I will get to the chest. Momentarily. Oh, momento. Por favor. There it is, everyone. It's where I've kept pretty much all of my... Well, I've got a hammer in here for some reason. 
I've got my like PS2 controller and stuff in here. Another hard drive I don't use anymore, but also got things like my Lara Zade bottle. I got they brought out a Lara Zade flavor, Croft Apple. I've got like all three flavors of that in here. Um, I've got Tomb of Ashes. Um, I stole Tomb of Ashes drawing from Darby. Where he was asking Embracer to, um, this is what he wants for the next Tomb Raider. It's essentially just this, uh, this, and not whatever that is. <laughs> and I like the fact that he's also put Embracer's logo in the style of Ikea's. I did say to him that I would nick it. I did tell him that. Um, Angel of Darkness Definitive Edition thingy. A PS2 remote. <laughs> Which I don't think I can use, actually. And... What else is here? A couple of guides as well that someone found. Cheat books. Remember cheat books? Remember cheats in games? That's me with... Um, Jono Elliott and Eric Loren. Curtis and Lara, respectively. It's me holding a fake obscure painting and getting about to get stabbed by periap shards. There's a couple of myths of El Hawa things that were signed. A brilliant little short film if you've not ever heard or seen it. It's sort of like a uh, interlequal between Angel of Darkness and uh, between Last Revelation and Angel of Darkness. There's a bigger one as well. Um, all kinds of stuff in here, really. Even stuff that people have sent me. Um, there's even like a little thing in here where um, oh, hang on. Did I just give my address away? <laughs> I hope I didn't. Um, where people have sent me like like notes and thank yous and stuff like that and little things that they've made. A whole bunch of stuff in here. It's actually a bit of a mess if I'm perfectly honest. <laughs> Sorry, gone completely off tangent. Off piste. Let me just put stuff back and then we'll go back to the game, I promise. Du, du, du. It's a hammer time. But as a result, it's quite heavy. <laughs> There's quite a lot of stuff in here as well. Oh, it was a bunch of t-shirts that Uncharted Raider sent me. And a whole bunch of... Uh, Dark Angel Symphony shirts as well. That I got posted by the project. When I was covering Angel of Darkness. Yeah, so I kind of like the, mem the memorabilia chest now, which is pretty cool. Will the chest be making an appearance in the next video? Oh, shit. Um, you'll have to wait and see. You will have to wait and see. Sorry, everybody. I guess the hammer acts as an aid to better fit stuff inside the chest. If it doesn't want to close properly. You could say that. Might be one way of putting it. The camera didn't focus on the address, thank God. <laughs> I've done that before, not thinking about it. Fucking dox myself live on Switch. Hello, Croft Crazy. The Lara's Aid bottle. Yeah, I've got the Croft apple flavor, which is the green one. Um, and then I've got the orange and the original flavor bottles as well with her on it. And they all say Lara's Aid. That was a weird moment in history, actually, being able to be a part of that happening again. It's pretty cool. I don't think America has Lucas Aid, do they? You made 50,000 war bonds. Holy crap. Didn't get the green or orange, sadly, but I got the original flavor. Nice, nice. It's weird how the green one was the only one that they had a unique name for. The others were just, like, original and orange. Oh, thank you very much there, Stephen Clan. Thank you, Sonata, as well, for the bits, too, earlier. I think it's UK only. Yeah, I think it's a UK only thing. Because weirdly enough, like, LucasAid is a brand. It's like a glucose energy drink. And it originally, like, way back when, when it first came out, it was originally used as a medicine for, like, sports. Because they thought that it would... Um, it, it would provide health benefits to people who were sporting athletes or people who were sick just in general they would just give people prescribed Lucozade, um, and then they discovered that there was too much sugar in it but instead of actually having it t like completely disbanded and discontinued 
they then moved it to being a retail off the shelf energy drink type of product i think i've remembered that right i might not have but uh you're just gonna have to trust me on that <laughs> oh thank you saving redeem the save yo thank you very much there ac three month streak Thank you so much. Ah! No. Okay. Also makes for a delightful hangover cure. Does it? Does it now? Has uh, one got a bit of personal experience with that particular remedy there, uh, Lindsay Bell? Hmm? <laughs> Uh, got a bit of a personal experience with the hangover cube. Right, now where do I jump to? Oh, hang on. I got it. Here we go. Everyone who at least, um, hey, everybody who at least once made a mistake and saved instead of loading with Lara in the middle of a deadly fall, raise their hands. Oh God, yes, I've I've definitely done that before. Guilty as charged, I'm afraid. Uh, is that going to let me climb around the corner? No, it's not smart enough. Ta-da! <laughs> Raise your hands. Don't be shy. We all know. We all know your secrets. Do we need Jute Nukem back? Do we? Bring back Duke Nukem by all means, but make him gay. Make it an absolute slut. <laughs> absolute man slut. That'd just be great. <laughs> it's time to kick bubblegum and chew ass. And I'm all out of ass. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> like, Jude Nukem as a character is like too... Like he's supposed to be a whole, like a, like a parody character. I get that. And a pastiche on like hyper masculine like AC's action stars. But he definitely he's too he's too like machismo and if they go if they continue with the angle that they originally do did do nuke him in the first place, make him kind of like take him seriously, it wouldn't work. So he either has to go the other way, or he turns they turn the character into a joke. Like a like a Johnny Bravo style character. Like make it incredibly tongue in cheek. Oh, sorry. Duke Nukem is another game that simply won't get made nowadays. I mean, Duke Nukem could still work. It just needs to be completely reworked, I think. He's just a, such a dum dum. I mean, if they could remake Shadow, like, Warrior to work in this day and age. Uh -huh. Ooh, nice. Then Duke Nukem can still work. I mean, he was, a, he was an extra character in Bulletstorm, wasn't he? But that's all we've seen of him. It's like Gearbox are almost, like, clueless as to what to do with the character. What is Duke Nukem? Oh, God. Uh, 90s shooter, uh, one of the most... I think Duke Nukem 3D is actually uh, like one of my favorite um, retro 3D shooters. It's a really fun game. But it's basically the characters are complete pastiche on like hyper-masculine 80s action stars. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. That sort of thing. 
And he's all about the ladies and strippers and stuff like that and steroids and... <laughs> I mean, he was kind of a joke anyway. I'd be surprised if anyone actually did take him seriously. But back in the 90s and the early 2000s, they kind of did. But the guy's an absolute meme. He's just like... The, the, guy, the guy who voiced Duke Nukem originally... Have you ever played Sonic Adventure? Have you ever played Big the Cats levels? Because if you have, you've played Duke Nukem. <laughs> That's the same dude. The same guy that goes, the froggy. It's the same guy that's like, blow it out your ass. <laughs> Duke Nukem's fine. He's just, a, he's just, they just need to make him a, like a, like a lovable doof rather than anything serious and problematic. <laughs> Right, I need to get up there somehow. Somehow I need to get up there. Somehow Palpatine has returned. Oh god, has it got those platforms with the glass in real life as well? Oh no, no, no. I've already done that in... I already did that in Tokyo Tower, and I'm- I'm absolutely petrified of heights. No, thank you. Has this not got a scope? Am I missing something? This thing's got a scope on it, right? Oh no, it hasn't. I swear when I picked it up, the model for it had a scope on it. Hello, Toasty Jellyfish. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I have PTSD now. Well done, Gecko kid. Well done, Gecko. Lord. Oh god, the birds are back. Right. Let me just get one of these out. Don't mind me. Just just gonna casually buckshot an, an eagle blackbird or whatever the fuck they are. Hang on. Okay, we're good. We cool. <laughs> we cool. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it's got a scope on it. I reckon it's just an unaltered version of the model from Chronicles. Unless you can get a scope for it and upgrade it later. That'd be quite fun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Statistics, options, no, I want to save. An eagle blackbird. <laughs> I think the TR3 version had an unusable scope. Maybe. Ah, okay. Here we are. Poles. Don't jump at them in an angle, otherwise you may die. <laughs> Before I uh, go any further, I am just going to backtrack somewhat. Just to see if I can go through these doors down here. Unless I need a key, which I probably do. Yes, I probably... No, no. Hang on. Look at the size of this door. Is this like... Does Hagrid work here? How big is this? Yeah, Jen's voice as Lara is really nice to listen to. Soothing to the ears. Like, I love... I love Janelle's, like, Lara a lot. But sometimes, my god, it can it can feel like a slap to the face sometimes when it starts talking. <laughs> so Jen's like an eased in, sort of soothing tone. Janelle's just like, right! <laughs> Why haven't you done your homework? I told you to do it yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Elliot. It's not good enough. What's down here? Okay. We just climb down here first. 
Finally, a door where I don't have to duck under the frame. Ah, you have that problem too, I see. Macho broccoli. Jonelle was a school teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Norsk, you're still there? Hope you're doing all right. Speaking of school teachers. <laughs> you call this a dossier? It's a scrapbook at best, dear boy. Yeah, she just does that for every single piece of homework she's she's handed. Yuck. Wee. There we go. I wasn't meaning to swing around on the post for so for pole for so long. No, nope, I don't want that one. Oh, it's another Polaroid there. Come back here. Look at it. It's like a stealth bomber in the background there. even reaching hang on <laughs> that, that did it <laughs> splendid <laughs> lovely splendid fantastic did the bird drop anything no doesn't even have a soul that's why what's this what photo is this Ooh, whose photo have we got today? It's Seth McKenzie, everybody. Look at the Sethy McKenzie boy and the Gecko Kitty Winks. Look at them. Look at them. Lovely, lovely Amazing. jubbly. Is there anything in the back? No, but you can fully rotate it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> lovely. Oh my god, it's the Gecko Kid himself. Hello. How are we? Don't mind me. Right, so... Hmm, okay. I need to find a way into this tunnel here, I think. Yes, I found myself. It took a few years, but thanks to you, I finally found myself. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just shows if you all take the time, you too can find yourself in the strangest of places. Yeah, bloody good work so far, man. Everyone's really impressed with your... with your... your ah, no! What? I didn't even let go! Ooh... I didn't even let go of grab, it just did it for me. Okay. Uh oh. And that's how Lara Croft died. Close his book. The end. Hey, Daniel. Yes, it has been a while. Hope you've been doing okay there, bud. Welcome to the stream. Oh, there was a, there was literally a hatch here. Fabulous. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> we know now for next time. Do an average, mate. Work and real life. Good to know. Hope average is a, the good kind of average. What's in here? Okay. F 
Fucking A. Just picked the wrong day to guard the Tower of London today. Tower of London? London Bridge? Oh, some averages are mean? Oh. That's a numerics joke. It's very highbrow. Before I do anything further in this room, I am going to go all the way back to this door ahead of us and see what's there. All this for a £5.99 snow globe. <laughs> I was saying to everybody how you snubbed me. Gecko, you snubbed me. I offered you gold in the form of a Winston snoring sound effect. And you turned it down. You didn't use it. I'm jaded. Jaded, I say. How dare you. It's the thought that counts. Very funny. I didn't turn it down. <laughs> oh, Scheiser! Whoops. <laughs> the slander. Oh, oh. <laughs> My reputation. I'm gonna drag you through the mud, sunshine. <laughs> you fool! Fool! Yes, I know. I know. Your mate's family is going to Japan next month. Very nice. Whereabouts in Japan are they staying? Did they say? Uh, Lindsay's looking for some help. I'm a bridesmaid at my best friend's wedding in less than three weeks' time. What essentials, essentials should I have on my person on the day? Uh, knuckle dusters, flick knife, hip flask. <laughs> I don't know, Sarah would be the best person to ask about that. She was recently a bridesmaid. For a friend's wedding. I say recently, a couple months ago now. Yeesh. I need to re-pick up the Seth McKenzie photo. No! Yes! What's TID? Some tourist area in Tokyo, not quite sure. Fair enough. Hey? <laughs> that does narrow it down, doesn't it? Oh yeah, some some tourist area in the whole of Tokyo. That's basically everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Moon Spirit. Okay, let's reload that. <laughs> that didn't go quite to plan, did it? it neither did that. Whoopsie. Oh! <laughs> These diagonal blocks are, uh, they're, ki they're literally killing me. They're very difficult to work out. Tissues, lippy perfume. Did that bird just scream when it died? Maybe it did. Well, like a human scream. Oh, f It's the only trouble with diagonal blocks in this engine. You take one jump step backwards to do another, like enough of... You have to have enough space for a running jump. It's, uh, it's going to end in tears. No, I didn't mean to do that. Or a walk running jump. Oh yeah, I forget that that's a thing. I keep forgetting that's a thing. I'm a shit Tomb Raider player. And it's all thanks to you, Gecko Kid. Excellent. Excellent. Who is this? Who is the? Who are these people that you've been? Uh, it's a shame I can't read all the text because it's cut off. 
Um, Relic Hunter, Joey Quinton, Gecko Kid, and someone else. Uh, at Core Design Building in Derby. Who's the third? Um, Rem Rem. Ah, there we go. It's a shame you can't stack it in this menu. Also, no radial menu. Why? I keep telling you builders, put the radial menu from Tomb Raiders 1 to 3 in it. Please, it's so much better. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> eh. I am playing in 4x3. Very true. But that's no excuse. <laughs> or is it? I have a feeling I can slide all the way down there. That could be quite fun. But let's not do it now. Let's, let's go back to this. It's a cool camera angle and everything, but I need to see where I'm going. Save it and slide. I mean, I could... I could save it and slide. You're right. I have that ability. What would I do without you lot? <laughs> Honestly. Let's do it. Save it and slide, 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 slide. Okay. We. I feel like Shadow the Hedgehog. We. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> Let's try something again. Let's try it again, but different. Let's do something different. If I think you know what's coming. I thought Lara was going to just stay like that and just float in the water like a plank. <laughs> Radical highway intensifies. I really need a fucking Starbucks, Jonah. Ah, no, I overshot. <laughs> Holds up sign tens. Tens across the board. I'm sorry, Gilbert. There we go. I keep forgetting that walk-run technique is a thing. I need to remember that. Store it in the old Steve brain. Which isn't very big, let's, let's face it. Excuse me, good sir. Can you direct me to the Tourist Information Bureau? I kept asking them nicely, but they shot me. <laughs> so I, of course, had to shoot back. It's, only, it's what any woman would do. real question is, can Lara do a cannibal from that height? <laughs> Gondage there asking the real questions that everyone wants to know the answers to. Hot button topics with Gondage. When I was little, I read that as Terrorist Information Center. Yes. Yes, you can find all about um, the latest terrorists like um, Osama Bid London and... Uh, <laughs> At Saddam Hussein and all the greats. Abu Hamza. Okay.
Thank you for the bits there, Stephen Clare. Yeah. Thank you. Bing, bong, bong, bong. If there was one instrument that I would use to describe the classic Tomb Raider soundtrack, it would be xylophone. Would I be wrong in saying that? Oh, right in the face. He did not deserve that. Poor bloke was working a minimum wage 9 to 5 shift until she came along. Uh -huh. Sorry. Oh, yeah, side note. Your boy's getting a Steam Deck. On its way. Got the 256 gig one. So, um, the plan with that is obviously to play some stuff on it. Like PC games and whatnot. But the plan I'm hoping to use it primarily for is to basically use it to play um, level sets um, in between big videos. Then I can get footage, and then that means I can start writing quicker, and then that means I can get more videos out to you. <laughs> I'm not trying to be harsh. It's I'm not trying to be harsh. It's just that your coughs are so loud. <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> wow, that door's got a terrible cough. Reminder, she's doing all of this for a fake snow globe. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> Doomed, 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 doomed. Oh, good. That's good. Doomed, 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 doomed. So I've got. Hmm. See what items I've got. Just got weapons. Weapons and Polaroid pictures. That's all I've got. Oh, and medkits. That's it. Killing Larson for a fuse. Shooting up half of London for a snow globe from Harrods. Okay, so we've opened up the path back here. But is there an item that I've missed? I feel like there is something I'm still... I've still not grasped. Unless we're on the other side of the bridge now. I think we are, aren't we? So, yeah, we would have something else to go and explore down here. Kill an innocent researcher for a golden rose, yes. Welcome to Tomb Raider. Do you want to see a vampire coffin? I thought you'd never ask, Daniel. At last. Oh, that's cool. That's, um, oh goodness, where is that in London? I've seen that. I've seen that before. Terry of Frickin' birds, get off my land. Yeah, let's see if I can use these boats for anything. Mummy Returns vibes. Oh, yeah, we had a double-decker bus earlier that we walked past. London has never looked so good. Can confirm. <laughs> How you doing there, Mr. First Time Chatter? Welcome. Get comfy, grab a seat. There's no key up here, but we might be able to use these boats, or they might just be set decoration, actually. I think there might be that. No! Uh, oh, hello!
Oh, I see. So we can use this to get back to the other side. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at it go. Lovely stuff. That's cool. It's forward thinking, that is. Hello, triple six. Good evening, stranger. I wanted to play Legion, actually. Is that any good? I was in two minds about getting it, but then just didn't in the end. I remember this exact location in London. I've been there. Those ladders and that boat. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Hunter Biscuit, first time chatter. Welcome. How are you doing there, Mr. Biscuit? Hope you're doing all right. It's on sale now for $9.99.99. Uh, I have you on Insta, Steve. I'm King of Frimley. Been a lurker for a while. It's nice to know. Uh, nice to finally see you surface above the, the lurk. <laughs> Slink? What's slink? Other than that thing that you push downstairs. Hi Steve, new here. Enjoyed my series of videos on Tomb Raider very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're, I hope you're excited for the next one. Because I am. <laughs> Exhausted, but excited. To show off my latest editing escapades with you lot. Oh, it's Sophia Lee's company? Sophia Lee's company? Do you know, I didn't even pay attention to that. Too busy blasting her in the face. <laughs> Uncharted Raider is home from work. Look, Mr. Raider. You're a, you're a, you're a secret. Look, you're there. Beard and everything. Along with Laurie and Hedy. And Relic Hunter. Someone else whose name I can't see because I'm playing in 4x3. Because I'm that cool. Oh. I like the way they did the de facto anti-character creator in Legion. As in, you can literally recruit almost anyone, but you cannot really create a character. You can modify them, though. I think the game is fine enough. This is Watchdog Legion, by the way. Just in case anyone's missing the context. Um, but I think it was overfilled on Ubisoft formula, so I never really actually finished it. I kind of want to go back to Legion one day, though. Yes, I I remember the adverts where you can essentially recruit a gang of hacker grannies to do your bidding for the resistance, and that looked like like a, in a hysterical time. That's what I would do if I had that game. I'd just, like, recruit elderly elderly pensioners to do my bidding, to, to, to um, fight against the government. Oh, your boyfriend was FaceTiming you? Nice. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Bulletproof glass, yes. That famous staple of all London shop fronts. Oh, shh. Right. How many pistols has he got? He's got like two holstered, an additional two in his hands. <laughs> like, how many guns do you want, mate? I want all the guns. Are you sure that's a good idea, Terry? Nah, I, I don't care. Just want all the guns. <laughs> Give me all the guns, please. I don't know why people are shooting at a coffee shop. I don't know. That guy was just washing his hands. And now he's just stood there in disbelief whilst the rich woman, um... Guns him down in cold blood. <laughs> Please tell me I can kick open the doors. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, I can. Oh, he was having a poo. 
Wait, he's got his... He's actually got his trousers around his ankles. I'm so sorry, good sir. <laughs> he's got love heart boxes on and everything. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oof. <laughs> oh dear. But we needed to kill him because for some reason we needed to to gun him down in cold blood to get an engine room pass key. Brilliant. Love it. He's attacking you with a plunger. Why he had a plunger, I have no idea. Who holds a plunger when they're having a shit? A unless he's just that prepared. <laughs> it's gonna get blocked. I might as well. <laughs> you know? I did literally kill a man with his pants down. 10 out of 10, best level set ever. Would definitely... Definitely kill a man in his pants again. Too much Taco Bell. Too much Chiquitos. Ooh. He might have grabbed the plunger instinctively, out of fear, like, ah! <laughs> like, he, like it's a regular occurrence for him to get suddenly, like, interrupted whilst he's doing his business. Best encounter, pants down. No. No. Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> We do that outside. Who have we got in the photos? Relic Hunter and Gecko in the Vault Pub, which is this place here. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Who's that random woman in the background there? Just kind of, just minding her own business, trying to get a drink, and you're just like, photo. <laughs> you're just wanting a picture with her in the background. She's had like the shittest day ever. And you're all just like, hey! And then she's just like, God, I swear to God, if another bunch of tourists just take fucking photos with me in the background again, I'm gonna fucking wreck something. <laughs> and then a split second later, you two just rock in and ruin her day. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Butters Tube. Favorite streamer boy? It's not too bad, and thank you very much for the compliment. Is there anything in there? Can we get a beer? Can I just grab a bottle off the shelf? Oh, there is something in here. Okay. I'm sure the establishment won't mind me stealing their one and only, um, <laughs> med kit from their establishment. Oh, that's that's the fabled snow globe of Antioch. Okay. Can I not just shoot the glass and grab it? Can I not just do that? Hey? Something about cheese? What? Titties? Oh, kitties. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, Sarah's trying to communicate. And each time she's saying it, it sounds like a different word. Sound like cheese to me first. Then titties. And then keys. And then we found out what it was. It was kitties. And then she's like, I found some cats. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's better. How is there not a sound effect of Lara's iconic no? Oh, it's the Lara Croft star. Oh, that's cute. You ported it over from Derby. That's pretty cute. I like that. I don't know. I thought I had one. And it's Natla's coffee. Oh, God. Where's that coming from? Uh, I'm being shot. Hello? Hello, police officers. I'm being harassed in the street. Yes, I am carrying weapons. Yes, I am inviting danger. What of it? <laughs> it's besides the point. Lovely. She really needs a fucking Starbucks, Jonah. By the way, Gecko, I know that Chris, um, as in Raider Cross, Raider Cross, Raider Cross, has put your design for that in his shop. Do you get a cut of any of the merch that gets sold on his store? 
I've been meaning to ask you that. Or did you just give him the go-ahead to just use that image to sell? You just gave him the go-ahead. Oh, fair enough. I'll be asking for royalties, mate. <laughs> I'm meaning to buy myself an old Excellent. Natla Coffee coaster or something. Yeah, Chris has a merch store. It's a print. It's a red bubble shop, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, thank you for the gifts up there, Uncharted. To Gecko Kid, welcome to the War Clan, my my good sir. Be sure to link your Twitch and Discord accounts together, and if you are a sub on my channel, you get access to a little VIP room where you can get some sneaky peekies at what I'm coming up with next on my uh, latest videos. I like Redbubble. I've not used Redbubble. I'm um, I'm on fourth wall for my stuff, and that's what like stuff like this has come from, and all the other stickers and coasters you can get from there. And it seems like we're quite good quality, actually. On Red Bubble. Red Bibble. Yeah, hasn't he just uh, just done a good job of this? Oh, another one. Uh -huh. Oh, another one. Mr. Relic Hunter. Then why are you wincing? What is he doing to you? What what is what is going on there? Is this sus? <laughs> Why are you wincing? <laughs> He's behind. He stood behind you. You're wincing. Just putting it out there. <laughs> you were not wincing. <laughs> oh, I beg to differ. The evidence is here. <laughs> Ah, these photos are placed in where they were taken in real life. Oh, that's cool. Obviously, apart from mine and yours, because we were to, you have to you have to take us to Derby <laughs> in order for us for, in order for that to still work. You recommend Redbubble have very high quality prints for them. Nice. To be fair, like all the stuff that's come through, I've, I've got a hoodie through from um, Fourth Wall, and compared to Teespring, Teespring's quality is like shocking compared to. Um, Fourth wall. Fourth wall stuff's really good. Tower Bridge has kind of ruined all the other trellis for you. They all seem a bit blurry. Ah, not at all. Not at all. Whee! <laughs> Twice! Twice, I say! Ah! <coughs> Engine rooms and shoppy. All right. It's a funny name for a shop. Do you know what would be a quite interesting project for someone to do? Who here has been to the Tomb Raider experience in London? Because I, if, if any level builders have been to it, it'd be quite an interesting idea to make that a level set probably end up being better than the actual thing but there we go i hope it's gotten better value for money but but for when me laurie sarah and jay went and, and rosie bless her it was not worth the price we paid it was like 75 quid or something at the time now it's down to 35 i believe which is much better but uh it's like an interactive kind of like assault course experience like a like an escape the room type situation um, that they set up in London's Covent Garden area. Not Covent Garden. Candom area. Oh, another picture. Joey Quint at the Lara Croft star. Look, there he is. There he is. There's the Lara Croft star in Derby. £75 to pretend to be Lara. You don't even see her. That's the thing. Like, the actress they got to play Lara, it's all backlit, and you only see a silhouetted version of her. She doesn't come out and, like, interact with you like the other actors did on the, um, on the tour, I guess you could call it. On the adventure. And I believe they changed the name of the butler since as well, because they actually called him Winston, and I don't think he's called Winston anymore. I think he's called Jeeves or something, which is just really weird. Incidentally, that's where I got this, um... 
That's where I got this Natla Technologies business card from. And you can call the number, and it does do something, but nothing really that exciting, sadly. It has the whole kind of, welcome to Natla Technologies. Press 1 to reach this, press 2 to reach this. And we, uh, we did it on a stream once, and we pressed all the different numbers. And it just came with the same, I'm sorry, this number is not available, type response for each one, which was a bit of a shame. You always wanted to call Winston Jeeves when you were younger? It fits. Press 7 to start the seventh age. <laughs> Get in the cart. What cart? <laughs> Where's the- oh! Oh, there is a- there's a minecart there. Okay, let me just explore first, then I will get in the cart. Alright. Alright. Remember the search engine? Ask Winston. <laughs> That's Lara Croft's search engine, isn't it? Press 5 to summon Doppelho. Press 8 to question your life choices. Press 10 to win. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, just don't mind me. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. I do enjoy gunning down an armed policeman. If you wish to reach Kualapek, pre please press 1. For Tihokan, press 2. <laughs> I love their depiction of London in two better games. A ghost city. <laughs> city of spooky. Oh, we'll leave her. Follow the switchcroft. What does it do? Uh oh. Um. Awesome. How the feck am I supposed to get to that? Okay. Not that way, clearly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bottomless pits in London as well. That's an interesting choice. Right, how am I supposed to... I'm guessing we work it out eventually, but... Hot damn. I am confused. Oh, I think I... Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's reload. Good luck with this part. Thank you, Athos! You're my favourite customer. Bye, doggy. Ah, what the shit?! What? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, you finally joined the Discord. Yay, another person. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the community. I hope people do enjoy the community I fostered on the old Discord. It's a nice chill community. Uh, what? <laughs> Apparently Amazon owned the TV and film rights to Tomb Raider. Really? So that means that Netflix Tomb Raider show isn't going to happen then, is it? It's then going to be an Amazon Prime show. In theory, right? Uh, I did it too soon. That's what my problem was. Is that something they've announced today? Because I know that Amazon Studios were, like, m financing, basically, the next Tomb Raider game. Huh. 
I'm sorry, the old Lara Croft can't come to the phone right now. Why is that? She's fucking dead! <laughs> I've heard that, what, the guy from Better Call Saul is doing a remake of The Room for television. What? Why? Oh, you bust! Oh, Gecko. Gecko kid. Hiding another slope there for me to fall to my death on at the last minute, thinking I was safe. I see you. Oh no, Crystal is still making it. Oh. It's just they're publishing it. <laughs> it's not over yet, Snoke. Vince Gilligan. Yeah, that's the guy. I couldn't remember the name. Thank you. You fool! Oof, that was close. Suddenly goes full on Kaizo. Full on full on Sabato. We couldn't we can't use Kaizo for Tomb Raider. It has to be Sabato. Thank you. Oh god, hang on. Oh really? How long is this going for? <laughs> oh god damn it. I don't know, Vince Gilligan was the showrunner, wasn't it? Bob Odenkirk was the actor, wasn't it? Sabatu Technologies, bouldering through the competition since 1995. 2022. By the way, too bad he didn't upload Sabatu's run on YouTube. Yeah, it, I didn't have the foresight to, like, keep all of them. Um, and I should have. Oh, I press jump. I press jump. I swear I did. Honest. You might want to wait for the timer to time out again and save before you pull the lever again. Oh, can I not just pull the lever and reset the timer that way? Does that not work? I will wait. <sighs> Difficulties. Easy, normal, hard, sabato. Yes. Speaking of Sabatu, come get some Sabatu Technologies merch from the store. Because you too can be the proud owner of a Sabatu Technologies sticker or, or t-shirt or mug <laughs> or coaster. And yes, that is real and I, yeah, I did get his blessing. So come on down. Yeah, he is, he is taking on TR2 at the moment. I've not played his um, demo yet, no. Not yet. Ah, oh, Moon's gonna go, no worries. It's, uh, it's time for work. On my day off. Soldier on, my good friend. Soldier on. Been great having you as always. Take care of yourself, yeah? Oh, thank you, Uncharted, for the merch link. Yes, it's also in the um, down below in the descriptions um, for my channel. But uh, if you want it, the link's there. Check it out. Feel free to buy some stuff, or just peruse. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it, got confused. Michael? Oh, what, from, um... Retro Blasting? Probably. Bless his little cottons.
Retro blasting. Pew pew. <laughs> Might as well just be wearing a, I'm a victim of abuse sticker with that. Yeah. PTSD. Physical form. Buy it now! Freak Raider appears to be working on the Parisian Ghetto. He does indeed. He's been working on that project for a while now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. I've not got this, have I? I've survived Sabatu's Tomb Raider. Oh, that's a great idea for merch. Oh, come on. There are so... I swear there are so many people working now on... Hang on, I fucked that up. On um, Angel of Darkness remasters or reinterpretations. It's quite mad. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Da -ba 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 -ba. Creator of boulders since 1453. <laughs> That's a very arbitrary year that you just plucked out of the plucked out of the air there. <laughs> Room Tater Darkness of Angle. Yo, Girthy Green Goblin, thank you very much there for the follow. And what a humble brag. What a boast. I love it. Bring it on. And your girth. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately, I think he intended to only make the Great Wall only, and then made Croft Manor. It was amazing, and since then... No! I fell into the... Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no. I missed it. An AOD demake would be awesome. I've said it before. If someone was to make a point-and-click style adventure game, like a, based on like a murder mystery type story structure for Angel of Darkness, I think that would be an amazing way to play it. It would suit the noir atmosphere of Angel of Darkness story and tone really well. Hello there. Lara Crofton. Welcome. This is insane. I remember the control scheme for the old Tomb Raiders. Pure evil. <laughs> they were a bit sadistic, weren't they? But once you got your head around them, they were perfectly fine. How are you doing? Welcome. Yes, the legend demake um, by um, our friend Delka looks amazing. Sadly had to substitute the bike sections for, for a jeep. Understandable, really. But, uh... Still very much excited. Oh, you dingus. Thank you for the five bits there, Stephen Clan. And thank you for the follow, whose name I will read out in just a memento. Uh, Eric? That's the pasta. I, I don't think I got that right at all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your name probably has nothing to do with pasta. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the name's Pasta. Eric Pasta. Licensed to cook. Oh, come on. Come on now. This was you after the first hundred attempts. Oh my goodness, I hope it's not going to cost me a hundred attempts. That would just be soul-destroying. Oh, bugger off. Come on now. <laughs> You're just being mean now, Gecko. Eric the Hipster. Ah, there we go. It's a, it's a jumble of a jumble of, a jumble of words. A jumble of letters. My brain couldn't decipher. <laughs> not in time. Not whilst I'm trying to concentrate on this at the same time. I do apologise. We're going to call you Eric Pasta from now on. <laughs> nah, Eric the Hipster, welcome. Save when I shimmy around the corner. Ah, okay. 
we will we will make a save. I was trying to do it in one go. Where are the birds to push me down? No, stop giving him ideas. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's the thing about the classic control scheme. Like, to most people, it's, like, unintuitive, but to, like, people like you and me, when you get used to it, it's, like, really robust and reliable. For the most part. <laughs> and when you get something wrong, like, nine times out of ten, it's you. And not the control. Oh, fuck you. Like that, I let go of the grab button. It wasn't the game that did that. This time. <laughs> no worries, Daniel. Thank you very much for joining for what you could, my friend. St Hang on. Yes, we are literally about to finish. I want to do this. 